हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माइसेल पराग गांबुलकर इन लास्ट वीडियो टू एथोराइज एपीआई डोमेन वी हैव यूज रिमोट साइट सेटिंग्स राइट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी वन मोर वे दैट इज नेम्ड क्रेडेंशियल्स आल्सो वी विल सी व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन रिमोट साइट सेटिंग्स एंड नेम्ड क्रेडेंशियल्स एंड वी विल आल्सो डिस्कस व्हाट आर द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ यूजिंग नेम क्रेडेंशियल्स इन फर्दर पार्ट ऑफ वीडियो वी विल हैव प्रैक्टिकल डेमोस्ट्रेशन for named credentials now see we have already used remote site settings for authorizing api domain right here you can see in setup in quick find here we can search remote site settings here we got click on this so here you can see we have already registered api domain in remote site settings and in program code here you can see in vs code this is program code for the apex class right here we are mentioning endpoint and here we are mentioning api key as a header so here we can see here we have mentioned api endpoint and also we have mentioned api key right so basically we are mentioning api key in apex code right so again i am repeating we are mentioning api key in our apex class code now see suppose in future there is change in api key and suppose we have used api key in several places so what will happen in apex code we have to change api key and at several places right and all the changes are on developer side right developer has to change api key in apex program code so to avoid that we have named credential so in named credentials what we are doing we are saving this api key in salesforce developer org along with api domain again i am repeating in named credentials what we are doing we are saving this api key in salesforce along with this api domain now see suppose in future if there is change in api key so what we have to do instead of changing apex program code we have to make changes in salesforce right we have to make changes in name credentials in salesforce so at only one place we have to change api key right so this is the advantage of name credentials over remote site setting so here you can see a difference between remote site settings and name credential in remote site settings url is registered in salesforce org authentication headers have to be mentioned in program right a named credential specifies the url of call out endpoint and its required authentication parameters in one definition so if we are using named credential so only endpoint we have to mention in apex program code and that endpoint takes care of authentication now see in remote site settings apex developer has to manage authentication already we have seen apex developer has to change api key in program code right while in name credential salesforce manages the authentication that api key has to be changed on salesforce side now see in remote site settings maintenance is difficult if any changes occur in future so see if api key is used at several places so if there is change in api key so at several places we have to make change but that is not the case with the name credential only at one place we have to make change now see how to use name credential so for that purpose we have to follow all those steps we will see one by one now see in salesforce developer org in setup in quick find here we have to search named credentials like this here we got named credentials we will click on this here you can see up till now we have not created any name credential there are two things one is external credentials and another is name credentials so basically what we have to do first we have to create external credentials and that we have to use in named credentials so see what we will do we will click on external credentials we will create external credentials first and that external credentials we will use in named credential okay so already i have clicked on that now see on right hand side here we have new button click on this okay so we have to create new external credential right so see we will give some label for example imdb credential something like this name so same name will give only this white space will remain like this now see authentication protocol so see here we will choose custom then we have to click on save okay so here you can see external credential is created right okay now scroll down in external credential 
we have to add principal and that principal later on we have to use in profile we have to create new principal that's why we will click on new here we will give some name so see suppose i am giving imdb sequence number default we will keep in principal we can add authentication parameter here you can see if you click on this add here we can add authentication parameter otherwise we can also add authentication parameters in name credentials as header so what we will do we will add authentication parameters in name credential so see i am deleting this now see we will click on save so see what we have done we have created external credential in that external credential we have added principal here you can see in external credential we have added principal right okay now we will move to name credential so see here we have name credentials click on this so here you can see we have added one external credentials right now this external credentials we will use in named credential so see click on named credentials okay so up till now we have not created any named credential now we have to create new named credential right so click on new here we'll give some name so see suppose imdb name also i'm giving imdb url so see we'll copy from the program code so what is the url of api so see this is the url of api right so i am copying this okay and here we will paste it now see enable for callouts so we will keep it ticked scroll down now here you can see external credential so whatever the external credential that we have created before so that external credential here we have to choose so click on this so already we have created imdb credentials right this is external credential so select this okay remaining things we can keep default okay now click on save okay so name credential is created now see scroll down in custom headers we can add authentication parameters so here you can see custom headers here we'll add authentication parameters so click on new now see name so see from program code we will take name so what is the name of header authorization we will copy this okay here we will paste it okay now value so we will take from the program code so see this is our api key right so this complete api key will copy control c and here we will paste it okay it is done now click on save now see again we will click on name credential so here you can see we have created one external credentials right in external credentials we have created one principal then this external credentials we have used in name credentials in name credentials we have added header for authentication parameters right so see we have done setting for the name credential now one more thing is remaining so see in search bar we will search profiles like this we will go to profiles now what we have to do for particular user profile we have to provide access of external credential principal suppose we want to give access to the system administrator so see what we'll do here we'll click on yes okay so here we got system administrator profile now click on this profile system administrator here on the top we have some links so see here we have one link enabled external credential principal access see again i'm reading enabled external credential principal access now what we have to do we have to take cursor over this link once we have taken cursor over this link here we got edit option right we got edit button so what we have to do we have to click on this edit button this is external credential that we have created right now see what we have to do we have to enable it for our user profile so here we are enabling it for the system administrator right we have selected this click on add button okay here it is added now click on save okay it is done now see in program code already we have mentioned this api key in self for developer all right so what we will do we will comment this because it is not needed right okay now see this endpoint this endpoint we have used for the remote site settings right okay so here i am mentioning remote site settings this endpoint was for remote site setting so i am copying this statement like this we will comment this now see here 
will paste it. Now see, we have to change this endpoint for the name credentials, right? So see, here I am writing name credentials like this. Okay. So see, we have to change this endpoint for the name credential. So what we have to do? We have to change this domain name like this. So see, instead of this domain name, what we have to write? Call out colon named credential name. So what was the name of name credentials? IMDB, right? We have created name credentials with the name IMDB. So see, that thing I am mentioning here. So see, instead of domain name of API, here we have to mention call out colon IMDB. IMDB is name of named credential. Okay. So I am saving it. Okay. So again, we will deploy this class. So see, deploy source to org. Okay. So it is deployed successfully. Now see, we will refresh by control F5. So here you can see, there is no change in application. We can use this application as earlier. Right. Okay. So see, suppose here I am searching Goldman, something like this search. So here we got the results, right? So in this video, we have seen how to use name credential instead of remote site settings. And also we have seen what are the advantages of name credentials over remote site settings. These steps for the name credentials and program code I will provide in my Udemy course. You can download it from the resources. Okay. Thank you.